I'm Erin Sweeney. I'm from Arlington, Virginia, and this spring I will be performing a one-person show on Lady Macbeth. Thank you. This is a monologue from The Lottery by Brainerd Duffield. Thank you. I don't know, Bill. Guess I just wasn't thinking. But that don't matter now, so long as I'm here. Hide him? I didn't try and hide him. What makes you say that? Well, yes, but I was gonna go get him. I was gonna bring him, honest. Bill, he's such a little boy. And with his birthday just last month, I hate to see children taking part in grown-up ructions before they've even set aside their toys. I know, Bill. I was born and raised with it, same as yourself. And I told you I intended to bring him. You gotta believe me, Bill. But some places have given them up. Lots of little towns up to the north. No. No, I reckon the lottery serves its useful purpose. <laughs> when a custom's been handed down from generation to generation, there must be some good in it. <laughs> this is a monologue from Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. Thank you. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven. Upon the place beneath it is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. Tis mightiest in the mightiest. It becomes the throned monarch better than his crown. His scepter shows the force of temporal power, the attribute of awe and majesty. Wherein doth sit the fear and dread of kings. But mercy is above the sceptered sway. It is enthroned in the hearts of kings. It is an attribute to God himself, and earthly power doth then show likest gods, when mercy seasons justice. Therefore, Jew, though justice be thy plea, consider this, that in the course of justice, none of us should see salvation. We do pray for mercy. And that prayer doth teach us to render the deeds of mercy. I have spoken thus much to mitigate the justice of thy plea, which, if thou follow the strict course of Venice, must needs give sentence against that merchant there. <laughs>